the Batch Elder Award. This award honors Mildred Batch Elder, a former executive director at the Association for the Library Services to Children. Batch Elder spent 30 years with the ALA working as an ambassador to the world on behalf of children and books. Her life's work was to eliminate barriers to understanding between people of different cultures, races, nations, and languages. This award established in Mildred Batchelder's honor in 1966 is a citation awarded to an American publisher for the children's book considered to be the most outstanding of those books originally published in a foreign language in a foreign country and subsequently translated into English and published in the United States. Batch Elder and fellow ALA specialist Jesse Von Cleve focused on forging relationships between public and school libraries within communities. This was in the 1930s, during a time of growth in a new coordination efforts for the youth library services. Mildred Batchelor promoted the diversification of public library materials. She successfully petitioned the U.S. State Department following World War II to donate surplus audiovisual equipment to public libraries. Even in her post-retirement writings, Batchelder lauded communications technology and the potential benefits to children's services advising librarians to stay current and learn about new technologies. Mildred L. Batchelor understood that when children in the U.S. have access to the translation of stories beloved by children everywhere, we nurture international understanding in a very intimate way and not just through classics like Pinocchio and Pippi Longstocking, but contemporary books too. Let's take a look at a review by Jasmine Gray for the Batch Elder Award, The Fox on the Swing. So there's a part in the book where, um, where uh, Paul is moving away and he's talking to the fox so i'll just read a little bit of it it says the next time they met paul and the fox looked up at the stars together then paul told the fox that he was going to move away so this is how it happens you're going to disappear and i will stay here the fox said i'm not disappearing they're making me move it's not the same thing paul cried i don't want to leave i want to stay here you're my best friend so that's me trying to get in character, but the fact that something like that is in a book for children to um, read is important because there have been a lot of children that have started schools and had to move because of um, life choices that were made um, by their parents, whether it was a job, um, just moving for uh, a better life or maybe even a split, uh, that type of uh, reaction um, and maybe memories uh, could be explored uh, for children reading and listening to this book. Yet another review of Mikus and the Donkey, a Batch Elder Award recipient in 2015 by John L. Hello, I'm going to talk about a book called Mikus and the Donkey, and it was given the Batch Elder Award in 2015, and it's translated from Dutch into English. Mikus is a boy who lives on a farm, and um, one day his grandfather tells him, you know, gives him a uh, gives him the good news that they have a new donkey, and Mikus falls in love with this donkey right away. The creature is a working animal, his grandfather tells him. So they can't let him, you know, he's a working animal, not a pet. So um, they, but they allow Mikus to spend, to name the donkey, and they allow him to spend uh, Sundays, him and the donkey to spend Sundays together. Well, Mikus names the donkey. I'm going to say Saki, it's spelled T-S-A-K-I, and um, they have a great time spending months, spending Sundays together and becoming fast friends. 
and together the two um, have some grand adventures throughout the book. Eventually, both Mikis and his grandfather learn a bit more about what exactly it means to care for another creature. And that's, that's the book I looked at. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching our presentation. We hope you enjoyed. 